The Roma or the Romani represent a unique and diverse European population. They are linked together by the rapidly evolving Romani language. They are widely known in English by the exonym Gypsies, which is considered by many Romani people to be pejorative due to its connotations of illegality and irregularity, as well as its historical use as a racial slur. Linguistic and genetic studies have suggested that the Roma migrated into Europe from northwestern India about a thousand years ago. Anthropological studies of the Roma have documented striking similarities between the cultures of various Indian groups and Roma. Social structure in Roma groups is similar to the Varnas of India, where the groups are often defined by profession. Like many Indian populations, the Roma practice endogamy and individuals of one Roma clan preferentially marry within the same group, and marriages across clans are prescribed. Many studies have also suggested a link between the Roma and Banjara, the wandering tribes of India, currently residing in central and southern India, but the linguistic analysis of the Banjari or Lamani, languages spoken by the Banjaras, have little similarity to Romani. Comparative linguistics suggest that northwestern Indian languages like Punjabi or Kashmiri, or central Indian languages like Hindi are most closely related to Romani. Genetically, the people groups with highest relatedness to Roma are Punjabi and Kashmiri pundits. Most Romani people are Christian, others Muslim, some retained their ancient faith of Hinduism from their original homeland of India, while others have their own religion. A lot of syncretism can be observed in the faiths of the Roma. Saint Sarah, or Sarah e Kali, has also been venerated as a patron saint in her shrine at Saint Mary's de la Mer, France. Since the turn of the 21st century, Sarah e Kali is understood to have been Kali, the Indian deity brought from India by the refugee ancestors of the Roma people. As the Roma became Christianized, she was absorbed in a syncretic way and venerated as a saint. Saint Sarah is now increasingly being considered as a Romani goddess, the protectress of the Roma and an indisputable link with Mother India. Most Romani speak one of several dialects of the Romani language, an Indo-Aryan language, with roots in Sanskrit. They also often speak the languages of the countries they live in. Typically, they incorporate loanwords into Romani from the languages of those countries, and that is how more than 60 dialects of the Romani language came into being. It has been argued that their migration route included polluted Persia, Armenia, Anatolia, and Greece. The Roma then settled in multiple locations within Eastern Europe. By the 15th century, the Roma were present in almost all parts of Europe. Since the 19th century, some Romani people have also migrated to the Americas. It has been estimated that the modern Roma people harbor about 80% West Eurasian ancestry, deriving from a combination of European and South Asian sources. The date of the admixture of South Asian and European ancestry has been estimated about 850 years ago, Eastern Europe being a major source of European ancestry and Northwest India being a major source of the South Asian ancestry. Their census size has been estimated to be in the range of 10 to 15 million, with the largest populations in Eastern Europe. They are Europe's largest minority group, with almost 10 million travelers living on the continent. They do not have written history or genealogy, and thus most of the information about their history has been inferred based on linguistics, genetics and historical records of the countries where they have resided. Since their migration, they have faced constant discrimination over the centuries. Some Romani may have been slaves or auxiliary troops of the Mongols or Tatars, but most of them migrated from south of the Danube but the end of the 14th century, some time after the founding of Wallachia, in the modern-day country of Romania. There, the Romani were kept as slaves by the decree of legislation from the 1300s until 1863. Afterward, many chose to flee Romania and move further west to avoid persecution. Some branches of the Romani people reached Western Europe in the 15th century, fleeing as refugees from the Ottoman conquest of the Balkans. Although the Romani were refugees from the conflicts in southeastern Europe, they were often suspected by certain populations in the West of being associated with the Ottoman invasion because their physical appearance was exotic. 
In Western Europe, such suspicions and discrimination against a people who were a visible minority resulted in persecution, often violent, with efforts to achieve ethnic cleansing until the modern era. In times of social tension, the Romani suffered as scapegoats, for instance, they were accused of bringing the plague during times of epidemics. On 30 July 1749, Spain conducted the great roundup of Romani in its territory. The Spanish crown ordered a nationwide raid that led to the breakup of families as all able-bodied men were interned into forced labor camps in an attempt at ethnic cleansing. Other countries forcefully tried to assimilate Romani communities into their culture through targeted laws. In the Habsburg monarchy, a series of decrees tried to integrate the Roma in order to get them to permanently settle, remove their rights to horse and wagon ownership, in order to reduce citizen mobility, renamed them new citizens, and required them to register with the local authorities. Another decree prohibited marriages between Romanis in order to integrate them into the local population. Other examples of forced assimilation include Norway, where a law was passed which permitted the state to remove children from their parents and place them in state institutions. Later in the 19th century, Romani immigration was forbidden on a racial basis in areas outside Europe, mostly in the English-speaking world. Argentina in 1880 prohibited immigration by Roma, as did the United States in 1885. The Romani people suffered heavily during the Holocaust. Between 200,000 and 300,000 travelers were killed in Nazi-occupied territory in what the Romani called the Porjamos. In Czechoslovakia, they were labeled a socially degraded stratum, and Romani women were sterilized as part of a state policy to reduce their population. This policy was implemented with large financial incentives, threats of denying future welfare payments, with misinformation, or after administering drugs. Scores of Roma have been traveling thousands of miles from Romania in Eastern Europe to the U.S.-Mexico border, hoping to gain asylum in the United States. U.S. Customs and Border Protection records show that hundreds of Romanian Roma refugees are apprehended by them every year. In the summer of 2010, French authorities demolished at least 51 illegal Roma camps and began the process of repatriating their residents to their countries of origin. This followed tensions between the French state and Roma communities, which had been heightened after French police opened fire, followed by the violent retaliation from the other side. In the era of ever-increasing political correctness, the fate and conditions of the Romani people provide a stark contrast to the inclusive and progressive ideals that Europe and the West claims to live by. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe to the channel to support us. Until next time.